This patent, filed by Tesla in September 1897, is the fundamental technology for radio. But it would be 50 years before Tesla got credit for his invention. Various people in various different countries uh, uh, had the idea of exploiting this as a means of, uh, of communication. But I think Tesla was the one with the real vision, in which you would broadcast signals on a, a definite carrier frequency, uh, and then you would have a series of antennas that were sensitive to one frequency only, tuned to a certain frequency, and would detect just one of these signals uh, and make an, an intelligible transmission. Uh, and uh, once again, his vision describes the world that we live in. Yeah. Meanwhile, Marconi was doing more practical things and succeeded in transmitting a signal five miles on the Salisbury Plain in England. Not to be outdone, Tesla decided to introduce an entirely new invention. In a specially constructed pool, potential backers were amazed to see the inventor controlling the motions of a small mechanical boat with no wires attached to it. This was the world's first radio-controlled device. The machine even seemed to think. Someone threw out the question, what is the cube root of 64? And four flashes came back. The audience was so surprised, Tesla had to remove the lid to prove no one was inside. Marconi arrived in New York in 1900 to attract investors for his new company, Marconi America. He filed a U.S. patent for a system of wireless telegraphy, but it was rejected because it was similar to Tesla's invention. It became obvious, I think, to Marconi, as well as to other experimenters of the time, that the Tesla system was an efficient, powerful resonator that would produce electromagnetic waves that you could work with. Confident on December 8, 1901, Marconi took another step forward and transmitted his famous letter S across the Atlantic. Tesla dismissed the Italian's advances. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. The simple fact about Marconi is that he used Tesla's system to transmit signals and claimed that these were ideas that he had developed himself. Morgan began to doubt the wisdom of his investment. Marconi's system not only worked, it was also inexpensive. In 1904, the U.S. Patent Office suddenly reversed its previous decisions and gave Marconi a patent for radio. Tesla's melancholy turned to anger in 1909, when Marconi was awarded a Nobel Prize. Mr. Marconi is a donkey. The question of Tesla and radio is certainly a very interesting one. It's clear that Tesla, in terms of uh, certain basic notions of, of radio, was very early, if not first, uh, in expressing them and even of, getting, uh, of, of taking them to the, to the patent stage. In desperate need of money, Tesla brought suit against the Marconi company, claiming that his patent rights had been infringed. But he lacked the resources to wage a legal battle with a large corporation, and ultimately gave up. Marconi had received the Nobel Prize for work that Tesla correctly believed to be his own. I suppose everything is fair in wireless as in warfare. 